Hello, welcome. This is a tar tarot reading for November and it, we're going to do physical health, okay? We're going to look at physical health, what messages we've got from spirit for our health for um, November. So thanks for subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up because it does help uh, my videos get out, get out across YouTube. Um, and um, yeah, let's see what we get. I hope you're doing okay. I just got back from Glastonbury because uh, I was doing a fairy fair down there that's uh, very beautiful. So, spirit, physical health for November, please. Or whenever you watch this video. Okay, we've got here ancient wisdom. So, that is a message to do with past lives it's to do with spirit guides um you know it's to do with your ancestors and what that means is that basically you're receiving messages in november and strengths in november from your ancestors from spirit guides that knew you in past lives um to help guide you to the most conscious pathways so that your physical health continues to improve because our physical health is really determined by energy and obviously we've all got karma from past lives which plays a part in terms of what physical health we've got in this lifetime it plays a part with what mental health we've got in this lifetime it plays a part in kind of everything really um, the, car the karma we have from past lives that we bring into this lifetime basically affects everything. So physical health can be part of it. Um, but also um, the, the karmic patterns that we continue to play out in this lifetime are affecting our physical health. So, you know, your, you know, your spirit guides, your ancestors are guiding you from spirit to support you to make the most conscious choices and decisions in your life to align you to source consciousness because source consciousness is um, basically the ultimate healer, you know, and miracle healings can take place. Um, your, your sort of DNA, your body can be completely upgraded through the power of source and you are completely um, at one with source, you know, we basically have source within us but we constantly get involved in our karmas <laughs> our patterns our habits our addictions lower energies and that that's the ego and that's obstructing us from accessing the source you know the infinite healing that is available from source consciousness all of the time you know it's obstructing that so in november it's going to be a powerful month to come straight out with this ancient wisdom this card to do with our, you know, ancestors, our spirit guides, um, our loved ones in spirit. What are they trying to do in November um, or the next few weeks whenever you watch this video? You know, they are guiding you home to be at one with source, to be at one with spirit, because that is the ultimate healer. To not get involved in the matrix, to not get involved in your karmic patterns. And I know it's hard. We've all got them. It's very hard to say no to our karmic patterns and to walk away from certain karmic patterns. But if they're not healthy, if they're not aligning us to source, we aren't aligning to the true healing that is available to us, the miracle healings. So it looks like November will be a very powerful month where we start to tap in to um, these, these sort of miracle healings that can happen for our body, you know, um, and that is possible when we align ourselves to source consciousness and our ancestors, our spirit guides from past lives, loved ones, they're all helping you to align to this beautiful energy, this very healing energy that is available to you all of the time. You know, and, it, and it's, it's hard when you're involved in the matrix because you can't see it with the physical eye and you get dragged into drama, you get dragged into unconscious patterns, your karmic patterns you know, but November will be very powerful because they're trying to realign you. 
they're trying to realign you to the, the power, the healing power that is really available to you all of the time. So let's see what the rest of this reason says, because I think this is going to be a big one. Um, okay, so what else are we getting here? Decisions. So it is going to be up to your decisions what you choose to do. You know, do you choose the matrix? Do you choose uh, the ego? Do you choose the drama out there? Or do you decide to move those obstructions out of the way and access this uh, conscious, this pure conscious, pure spirit healing that is available to you? You know, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> We've all got to do it. I've got to do it too. <laughs> right, let's go a bit deeper then. Let's see what else we're getting, okay? I'm trying to just, okay. See my layout. Okay, I'm not very good at remembering the layouts. Right, now the body is feeling better. There's definitely been improvements. We've got here um, Queen of Pentacles, which is a very healthy card. A very, very healthy card and it's grounded. It's grounded energy. When you're grounded, it means you're much more open to spirit. You're not all over the place out there. You're much more at one. That's what the Queen of Pentacles is. She's very grounded. It doesn't matter what gender you are, you know, it doesn't matter. Queen of Pentacles is very grounded and very healthy energy. So we've got ourselves into a much better space. We're much stronger now to do this work. And that's probably why the ancestors are coming closer to help us. Now, you're not going to believe the card that's just come out. You're not going to believe it. Can you see that? So this is a yes from the tarot. We're ready for November to be a very healing month. I knew it was going to be a powerful reading the minute I saw that card about ancient wisdom. It's going to be a really healing month, okay? So get ready. <laughs> it's exciting. Okay, let's have a look. Um, okay. Your body, what, what you need to do is believe, okay? Um, you've got the star card, which is a very lucky card, but it's in reverse, which just means a lack of belief. It's like you, you lack belief or you have lacked belief about how much healing you can really do, okay? Um, but I don't think that is actually going to be the case for much longer at all. Because the healing is there, luck is on your side, Okay, all you've got to do is believe. Tower. Things have to change in November. You are not going to be able to carry on the same patterns that you've had, whether it's dynamics in your family, dynamics in relationships, or your own obsessions and addictions. Okay, it's all karmic. And it's time now to break away from things that are affecting your belief. Things that are affecting your spirituality, things that are affecting your vibration. It's time. Uh, the tower is definitely the, the spirit saying things have to change. Things cannot carry on the way they have been carrying on. And it's better for you. It's better for you that things change because it's going to align you to better belief in spirit and it's going to turn your luck around. It's going to improve your health. Okay. You've got the Empress card. This is amazing because you think about it, the Queen of Pentacles is like the Earth Mother of the Tarot. And then you've got the Empress. And the Empress is also an Earth Mother. You know, she is absolutely, um, she births everything from the spirit realm into the Earth realm. Um, she's extremely healthy. Again, this doesn't matter what gender or sexuality you are. It is an energy. And I'm telling you now, it's a very grounded and it's a very earthly energy. It's a very healthy energy, which means um, you're present fully in yourself, in your being, so that you can bring this healing through from spirit into your body, into the physical realm to heal you you know, and it's a new beginning for you. It's a new beginning because you know you're now ready to do this. You're ready to be more conscious. You're ready to be more healthy. You're ready to say no to all the unhealthy things in your life.
you're ready to love yourself. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is total self-love. You know, it's um, it's actually about being excited about your journey. You know, feeling excited, feeling happy. Um, some of you could be experiencing new love in November, but it, it really is like the beginning of a new loving journey for yourself that you feel excited about. It's like it's like you're saying yes to yourself instead of saying yes to other people in the matrix, other people that were draining you or causing you drama or causing you pain, you know, or were, were just, just not healthy for you. And it might not even be people, it might have been things you were engaging with, habits, behaviours, addictions, you know, negative thinking. You know, even negative thinking about your health is a vibration. It's a vibrational frequency that then obstructs you from accessing the healing that is there available all the time from spirit. If you're engaging in negative thoughts about your physical health or your mental health, that is ego. And that ego will pull your frequency down and obstruct you from accessing the frequency of source. So that's not happening. It, it, November is just so powerful. It's, it's going to be such a powerful next few weeks. It's going to be deeply healing. Um, I knew it as soon as that Ancient Wisdom card came out. I knew it because that, that is not to be taken lightly. What you've done is massive. I think as a, as a collective on this channel, uh, all of you that watch the channel regularly, we've already been making great, great strides um, in terms of honouring ourselves, aligning ourselves, um, you know, and doing things that are right for us, um, becoming more mentally healthy, you know, more present, not engaging in drama so much, not engaging in the past, you know, not worrying so much about the future. You know, we've been doing a lot of this type of work already. And what that is, is it's prepared the way so that, you know, our spirit guides can now step forward and our ancestors in spirit can step forward and actually work with us more closely. And it's a very exciting new beginning. You know, the next few weeks is a very exciting new beginning because all that work that you've been doing on your, your mental health and your health in general and your life in general has prepared you now for this new beginning, which is going to be wonderful because you're actually, you know, the thing with Page of Cups that I love is it's about actually enjoying yourself more. <laughs> You know, it's like you're actually free and you can actually enjoy yourself more with the Page of Cups. You know, it's an exciting journey. You feel inspired. You feel excited. You feel more free. Um, you've gone through a lot, a hell of a lot. You know, you've gone through a hell of a lot. But you now know your value and your worth, not in terms of, oh, look at me, but more just the fact that you feel grounded in yourself. You feel more confident. You feel more centred. You're not so easily influenced by other people anymore because you know your values, you know your truth and you're more centred and able to connect with that and stay with that energy. You know, and that's deeply powerful because the Empress is then able, you know, because she's so grounded, she's able to access that healing from spirit, from source and birth it into the physical realm. And that's what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. So you can expect a lot of important changes in your physical health to improve, you know? Um, and to actually also just start enjoying your life more, generally, because <laughs> Page of Cups is about enjoyment and, and the, the love that you're actually giving to yourself. The more we love ourselves, that is honouring spirit because spirit is self. So this is a lovely reading. Um, so let's see what else we're getting here. Oh God, we've got the spirit guide card. It's amazing. The spirit guides are basically saying uh, if we align with them and listen to them about what they want us to do, right, um, they're going to help us, okay? They're going to help us take care of our body. They're going to help us take care of our health because that is King of Cups is spirit guides, okay? Protection from spirit guides. So 
um, connecting with your spirit guides. If you don't know how to connect with your spirit guides, just do whatever you do that makes you feel spiritual, you know, spiritually connected. You are spiritual. <laughs> You're spiritually connected all the time. But whatever you have to do to quieten down the ego, quieten down the mind, you know, quieten down the emotions, do whatever, it, whether it's taking baths, meditations, listening to gentle music, spending time alone, going out in nature, you know, um, we've all got things we do that help us to feel more at one with our true spirit and to quieten down that bloody ego because that's what we've got to do. That's the obstruction to all of this, <laughs> you know, and I think we're getting much better at pushing that obstruction away that ego away you know sometimes it can just for me it's just even just like making a cup of tea and putting on a spiritual video on youtube you know i just do things like that all the time just to help me keep realigning with my true nature and to block out the matrix because the matrix is full of distractions it's full of desire based vasanas you know it's full of things that trigger you so to improve how we're going to improve taking care of our body over the next few weeks is uh, by aligning to our spirit guides, aligning to spirit, you know, spirit within. And they're, the, they're right there helping us do it over the next few weeks. They know how hard we've been trying. I know everyone I speak to on this channel, <laughs> I know you're all doing the same thing as me. You're all doing the same thing as me. This is not like other tarot channels. You know, we are actually actively working on our energy every day. We are actively working on our healing every day because we want to return to our true nature, which is this. You know, we don't want um, all the aggravation of the matrix. <laughs> you know, we want to be the true spirit that we are. And our spirit guides know that. We, we're committed 100, well, as much as you can, 100%. I mean, we've all got ego. We all slip into it sometimes. We all slip into habits, <laughs> bad habits. But it's the fact that you pull yourself back all the time, realigning yourself back to source. And that's what I know everybody in this channel does. We're all doing it all the time. We don't give up. Um, we're going to be celebrating and being happy. Being spiritually aligned and doing whatever it takes to make yourself feel peaceful um, and in a happy vibration is going to help your body heal, basically. So the happier you can be, the more spiritual you can be, you know. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel peaceful. Do what makes you feel your spirit alive. You know, and push away the things that obstructs that. Um, we're going to be celebrating in November we are going to be feeling so much more peaceful. <laughs> We're going to be feeling happier. We're going to feel supported by spirit. We're going to notice improvements all the time over the next few weeks. Every week there's going to be improvements. Is There is a big change. There is a big change that's going to happen in your external reality. You're going to change something you've been doing. And as soon as you change that, you're going to get a massive dose of self-love and spirit's going to come even closer to you to support you because they're going to know that you've decided to step away from something that you were doing that was detrimental to your physical health, you know? And like I said, that can even be thinking negatively because thinking negatively pulls you out of alignment with healing, you know? Or it could be hanging around with people that haven't been good for your health, you know? Um... We've got the receiving card. Sorry about the delay there. <laughs> I was just looking at what the layout is. Um, I'm, I'm actually doing a different layout to what I normally do. I didn't realise when I started, but it's all meant to be. Um, we're going to be receiving. Six of Pentacles is receiving. The balance of give and take, the flow is much better over the next few weeks. If you felt drained, if you felt like you've been giving, 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 and you've not been receiving, that's all going to start to change in November. But it, it does start off... Because you definitely, we as a collective on this channel, as a soul family, right? We are definitely making a commitment to ourselves. First and foremost, a commitment to spirit. 
in the next few weeks. And we're just saying, right, I'm going to do this now. You know, we're strong enough to do it, to pull away from things that we know haven't been helping us. And boom, we start to receive, you know. Um, you know, it is a choice between two paths because you've got here the two of wands and it's a waiting card, you know, where you've been waiting, 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 <laughs> the time is now, the time is now, the next few weeks. You, I think we've all been a bit stuck on this channel for a little while. We've made vast improvements, vast, <laughs> and there's been massive shifts for us. I know there has, but at the same time, we've, where we've been trying to focus on our energy um, we've sort of been waiting for, you know, uh, we've been sort of waiting, you know, for something to happen, for for an aha moment, for a moment of decision, because, you know, we had that card about decisions, and um, that is the decision card, um, and two of wands is about waiting, but having to take action, and I, and I think it is, I think it's, it's like spirit is basically saying, in November, you will make a decision. It will affect your external reality. You will be changing something and it will be something that you've been waiting to change, but you weren't quite ready. You weren't quite ready to do it, but now you are. And as soon as you do it, you're going to start receiving more. You're going to start receiving more blessings. Money could also improve, but any form of abundance is going to start improving. Um, okay. So, um, let's see. You know, your body is telling you to take it slow. And we've got here the Knight of Pentacles, which is a slow energy. But they're saying slow and steady. You know, be genuine, be authentic, be, all re be real. The more authentic, the more real, the more truthful you are, that is conscious energy, that's going to help your health. Don't lie to anyone. Don't say you can do things if you can't. Don't push yourself to do stuff that you know is not alignment for you. Because if you just, you know, don't be frightened because I sometimes have been like this with my boundaries and, and issues like that. Um, you know, don't worry about it because truthfulness, integrity, authenticity is a, the, one of the highest frequencies you can have. So be real about that you know the knight of pentacles is very real and um sturdy trustworthy authentic and very healthy you know and money could be coming in for you from multiple sources um perhaps health issues can be dealt with in multiple you know it's like a multiple approach to health physical health um it's like you could be getting support with your physical health because of certain thoughts you're no longer engaging with, certain habits you're no longer engaging with. Maybe you're also accessing support from your health because something else is improving that you're now using or accessing. It's like a multiple approach, but it all has this very beneficial effect with that Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, to have the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles, they are all physical health cards. And the, the tower means something has to change in our external reality to kind of kickstart this all off. And I think we're ready for it. I think we're ready to change something that we've been previously doing because we're now more grounded and we trust ourselves more and we're more ready for it. And we are also in a position where we've got the confidence and stability within ourselves to stick with things, to stick with our decisions. And you know what? If people think we're boring, <laughs> who cares? Doesn't matter. Knight of Pentacles would not care. Um, being careful as well. We're being more careful. Page of Swords. That is a. That is a. You know, we're careful now going forwards because we we now know that we value ourselves. We now know that we hold that golden coin in our hands. And we know that we're making great strides and we know the progress. All right, it's not overnight and it does take time, but we know that it's worth it. It's worth the effort. You know, Knight of Pentacles is long-term commitment and steady progress towards your goal. 
and that requires us to be you know careful about certain things and that may feel challenging at times but I don't think it's going to be so challenging going forwards. I think it's going to be easier and easier for you the next few weeks to do what's right for you. It's a massive turning point for people on this channel. It really, really is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just dropped some tarot cards. Hang on a sec. Oh, dear. Okay. Now, some people may perceive you, right? I just want to say this. <laughs> may perceive you as being slightly more selfish, right? Because we've got here, I think you may have been dealing with somebody that's selfish. There may be someone in your life that's quite selfish and unsupportive, and they may now perceive you as being quite selfish and unsupportive, but it's what has to be done because you've got to be more careful and that's what's gonna happen. Sorry, Gilbert. <laughs> the tarot cards fell on Gilbert. Okay, so let's see. Okay, <laughs> there's going to be more action as well by the end of the month. You've got here the Four of Swords reversed because Four of Swords is solitude, being on your own, withdrawing. Um, I feel as you realign, we've already been doing the withdrawal. We've already been doing lots of realigning, figuring everything out, trying to improve our energy so that we could then be grounded enough and solid enough and secure enough in ourselves to make the changes we need to make. And, and you know, with this in reverse, it's showing that sort of as November progresses, we're, we're not really just going to stay in hiding anymore. We're actually going to be doing things, making decisions and doing things. Yeah. Um, because, well, I guess I guess we feel better and we we've sorted it out. I mean, it really looks like a month of sorting something out um, and. Um, starting to receive because we finally make the break we finally do what we needed to do and it's been a long time coming two of pentacles healthy <laughs> there's so many cards about health in this reason i can't tell you uh, two of pentacles is balanced health moderation making sensible choices um like the page of swords is all about being careful you know um so you know making healthy, sensible choices for ourselves, um, getting a much better balance, getting a much better balance. And you know how that happens when you don't listen to your ego and the crazy things it wants you to do or the way it makes you feel crazy. It's hard. It's hard to push the ego away and keep it at bay because it's got momentum. <laughs> We've had it in past lives and it's here in this life and it's hard. But I think we're breaking through it now. And we kind of know that sometimes the ego is going to come up and all right, sometimes we're going to do unhealthy things or we're going to have unhealthy thoughts. We're not fully enlightened yet by any means, but overall we are more ready now to embrace a more healthy lifestyle, more moderation and more balance. We've even just got a better flow of energy. I mean, that is such a good flow of energy. Like our energy is just flowing better. And we just do feel more free. We don't have to stay in this hiding anymore. <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm talking about here because I've been in solitude so much the last three years. It's ridiculous. Um, and I'm happy to stay in solitude. And I do feel following path of consciousness, you know, um, it, the gurus do talk about um, sort of the matrix is not really real. It's samsara. It's illusion. It keeps the ego rising all the time it keeps all of our desires rising all the time the triggers rising all the time so it is better to lead a more solitary life the more spiritual you become the more you realize the solitary life is the way forward but at the same time uh you know it's not because we feel stuck anymore it's not because we feel fearful anymore and we actually do feel more relaxed and more free and more able to make choices you know to sort of go out go out and about um, and we're not so easily influenced by others or um, easily triggered by others you know this is this is us kind of like <laughs> believe it or not by the end of November we're actually in a more balanced state so if we have to go out and about in the matrix we can deal with it a bit better than we used to be able to deal with it you know um, so let's just pick a final oracle card 
and then I'll just kind of sum it up. It's half an hour reading, so it's quite long, but I think there's just so much going on. And I, I, the minute I saw that first card about ancient wisdom, I thought this is going to be a one hell of a month, November, for our physical health. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're not going to believe what the card that's just come through. And this just shows you how close spirit is during this reading and how powerful this reading actually is. We've got this card and it says ancient. It's actually called the ancient. <laughs> and it actually says the word ancestry on it. Ancestry. OK, the other card I said to you about our ancestors because it's the ancient. It says ancient wisdom. So I knew that's pointing to ancestors. But it doesn't actually say the word ancestors on it. This one actually says ancient and it says ancestors. They're very close. Uh, the King of Cups is spirit, our spirit guides very close. We are basically massively supported over the next few weeks by our ancestors who are in spirit and by our spirit guides who probably lived past lives with us, okay? They're helping us point us into a much better, healthier timeline so that we can access the healing for our physical body which is always available from spirit. <laughs> the abundance of spirit is physical healing energy. It's, it's healing energy of all kinds. And it's there all of the time. Because we, you are spirit, I am spirit. You know that, we know that. It's just our ego constantly obstructs it by distracting us and sending us negative thoughts. So, you know, the, the thing is, it's all gonna be about us making these decisions and um, you, what you're going to find, uh, I do really feel uh, from these cards, is that over the next few weeks, you're going to make some massive changes. And you've been wanting to make these massive changes for a while. You probably weren't ready, but now you are. Um, you may have thought that you were going to fall back into old patterns, and you're going to find that you're not going to fall back into old patterns. Um, you're going to find yourself a lot stronger, more resilient than you thought you actually were. Um, your physical health is gonna really massively improve off the back of all of this. Your physical health problems are just not gonna be the same. There's gonna be, you know, a massive dose of healing coming in now because you're opening up a portal to spirit and spirit can finally work with you because you're coming closer to spirit. By pushing away the things that you knew weren't helpful, by pushing the ego away, and pushing the people in the matrix away that you know haven't been helpful or addictions away that you know haven't been helpful by pushing all that away you're basically allowing spirit to come close and that's how spirit can then do its healing on you you don't have to go and pay for a session of reiki <laughs> i mean if you want to you can because obviously it's a nice experience but i'm just saying you know this is really how you do the real healing on yourself um, and it's all going to be happening it's all going to be happening in the next few weeks for this collective on this channel, because uh, that's what this reading is for, basically. We're all a frequency, we are a soul family. And I know I say that to you all the time, but we really are. You know, you and me are no different. We are, we are the same. We're going through the same journey. And I speak to you all time and time again, and the similarities of the things we're going through is unreal. So, <laughs> celebrate, you know, because we have got the Ten of Cups there. You know, celebrate because you, you're coming on leaps and bounds and you, you're going to notice the next few weeks that your physical health is going to improve because of all of this. And not only that, but just to know how close spirit really is to you, working with you to help you in, in this incarnation. You know, they're so close and it's so beautiful that they are because they're right here with us, helping us, you know. Um, and we're so blessed to have their help and support. You know, their ancient wisdom, their ancient energy is is helping to support this portal of healing to be open for us so that we can birth it through into our physical body. You know, um, the physical body is going to improve, the mental body, um, our energy, everything. So it's a, it's a lovely reading and I'm just sending you so much love. Um, if you do want a reading with me, do contact me um, and I do a, a longer reading. I do a shorter sort of, I do a, an hour reading. I do a 40 minute reading and then I do a 10 minute voice note reading for quickies or 
more affordable <laughs> if you just need a quick question and answers. So there's different things you can do. Um, but thanks for all your comments and, you know, it's just great to see the progress we're all making really um, on this channel. So yeah, lots of love to you all and I hope you're doing okay and speak to you soon, hopefully. Peace.